Hi everyone. So um, I hope you all are having a lovely start of your week. Uh, just to share a bit uh, with my recent trips. Uh, so yeah, it was a lovely week for me. So uh, most of the time, I think just the the whole week, I was on the seaside. No, I just I mean half of it, like three days, in Dover, and then just came back in London just to unpack and pack again my things for another three day um, trip to another seaside town which is um, Eastbourne yeah it was my first time to go to that place but I felt really connected in that place so um, yeah I'm still integrating a lot of downloads as well as I was there and so yeah with that time I was also uh, spending the holiday to celebrate my grandma's birthday. Yeah, she's oh she's the one there in the photo. Yes, yeah she had passed over um last um August twenty no twenty nineteen, and that was my last Philippine trip. That was my last holiday, and that was unplanned, but my intuition was guiding me to go home that year and then yeah didn't expect but i felt it <laughs> as i had seen her when i arrived in there that yeah it's almost her time to pass over and yeah that's it and that's why this she's really a um, big part in this channel because um that time i didn't even know i didn't even like plan making this um youtube channel and during that last moment that i had seen her in the intensive care unit so that was her first and last hospitalization at the age of 96 so yeah one of her um, um vital signs in the monitor that really caught my attention was one four three and I say it's for me it was her saying to me I love you and yeah so after a few weeks two weeks when I got back here in the UK she had passed over and that day I felt really her presence with me so um, as I carry on until such time that I was guided to open channel make a channel so yeah I was meditating a lot of times what will I name with it and it came up to my mind Oh yeah, so yeah, it was really amazing. But um, the half of my holiday week, I was just guided to really bask in the moment and enjoy, and time with the loved ones as well, and th the beautiful and healing um, atmosphere in there. So I had a lovely time swimming, and just really feeling um, being one with the with the waves, with nature, and. So now I'll just carry on now with giving like um, doing a general reading and we'll see what the energy in the collective we'll just get general guidance and always apply it as how it resonates to you it can be focused on twin flames mostly who are guided to watch this video but you know it, you can apply it on how it resonates to your present situation okay okay so yeah I'll start and um, first we're gonna use the light seers tarot so I had um, shuffled the cards already oh by the way so there's a crystal candle shop in there and they're selling tarot as well so it was really um, my soul was really resonating the place as well and I really bought this one it's really lovely yeah, crystal bracelets and it has like angel <laughs> it has different names but my name Aldina is so unique cannot find it anywhere so I bought this one this really caught my attention angel <laughs> okay I'll proceed now okay let's just get a general message for the reading for the twin flame collective there's too many can you get one two please you can see the eight of wands popping up there six of cups as well oh that's so nice because i've been seeing a lot of we'll get this one because that's the one 
<coughs> okay, let's see. Okay, get that too. Yeah, that's how I do sometimes. I'm just really drawn to pull certain cards, pull out certain cards. So I just get the first two that came out. Brown dogs has been so significant these days. Like, I mean, I've been seeing it everywhere. Like, you know. Oh, this is a beautiful six of cups. I, what I'm getting with this, look at this. From uh, it's a little boy and then a man here. I think there's a deep core inner child healing in the collective, both the twins. Um, but what I'm getting, I'm getting more of the masculine energy that's really going into the. She's gonna apply the hermit mode here, like really going deep within, like reflecting on his um, childhood years and how it has affected him at this point in time. I remember there was a time when I was with my DM, now. he was telling me why I'm so drawn with these um, memories, things like that, and yeah, so it just came into my mind now that. In general, this really am healing and the star in there got my attention. Uh, two. Oh, these two. It looks similar to those. Um, I think it's planets. Planets that I have been seeing for uh, like uh, almost every night. Yeah, especially when I was in the seaside, cause you can really see. We had a sea view room, and even here when I get back, got back in London. I could still see it outside my window. It's really like, um, like look like this. And yeah, I think there's really growth, and growth, massive um, growth as well, energetically, um, like a massive, massive shift of, um, frequency in the energy from the lower frequency into a higher. Um, frequency of energy and these words just you know keep coming out of my, of my mind it's about loyalty because or faithfulness because that's how dog signifies and it just brought me back to this um one day when I went to um, a place it's called Greenwich and we were walking along the uh, along there along the river Thames and then um, there was this uh, guy has two huge brown dogs and they just approached me and then one was like you know it's like kissing my hand he's really quite similar to this one and when i went to the seaside again i had seen twin brown dogs again that's just so amazing and also here with the six of cups i there's um this reconciliation vibes i thing it's more on from the divine masculine side to the divine feminine side and also apply in whoever you think that you know you can really sense it when someone's energy is really you know approaching approaching to you and then here okay this one it keeps on coming up earlier as I was shuffling the cards it's the fool so zero. Oh, because I've been really sleeping quite late these days. Yeah, especially when I'm the seaside because I just like like meditating on a quiet night, staring at the moon, the sea. So yeah, I've been seeing a lot of zero 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 zero. You know, when the transition of time and it's really exactly midnight. So the full um what I'm getting with this Oh, look at this there is the um, amethyst crystal yeah this one has amethyst as well and I oh now I remember the very last time I was in my DM's house that was a, quite a long time ago I think that was, was it nine months now nine ten months okay so I left an amethyst crystal in there I don't know if he had seen it <laughs> but I, yeah I have amethyst crystals in here as well I just like crystals because 
they're really um just finding really precious you know a reminder as well how how lovely the the earth is through these crystals how amazing they are anyway going back to this so yeah, i think with all the green colors blue green as well i think there's a lot of healing and i could see there's a lot of healing happening near water near body water it could be the sea and yeah just uh what i had mentioned earlier spending a lot of time in the sea this week the past week and also um yes yeah, so color yellow here it means like there's also healing in the solar plexus that's what i'm getting and yeah i think there's some um, readiness now to to just flow just flow and integrate all the um, these experiences all these learnings all this healing and integrate it and then apply it into as to how to move this um journey both for the um divine masculine and the divine feminine journey with their own soul journey and and how to integrate and put it like in this um journey together in this um physical world or on this earthly plane yeah that's it it's really beautiful i like the arts of these cards so now with i'm getting with this there will be um reconciliation um to start a new beginning for this um journey together of the both the divine feminine and the divine masculine oh that's so beautiful now i'm not guided to get more from oh look what's popping out <laughs> i said no i'm not guided anymore but it's like oh uh, there's there's bits more you need to <laughs> this thing is like like a bit funny sometimes you know i just enjoy my <laughs> these divine guidances and yeah we're really connecting with my grandma so <laughs> look what was popping out i was about to set aside the deck of cards this is a empress <laughs> yeah it's just so beautiful because i've been really connecting a lot with mother gaia and see it's just really beautiful look at that it's like the sea could just imagine myself was really um playing with the waves in there yeah and there's the moon as well so there's a lot of illumination and integrating a lot I, that's the word i've been getting this is integrate integrate all those downloads all with all these experiences including um including there's a lot of um, past life memories as well and how to integrate that downloads as well at the present situation and yeah i think um number three yes it's really so it's reminded us of the uh oneness this is the trinity the oneness of the body mind and spirit so yeah that's what i've been really um meditating a lot of these days as well i even put it in my um instagram profile that was i was guided to put in there um yeah the impress impress is just uh, the divine feminines um it's like a feminine energy i think there's a balance now um how the divine feminine has reached this um energy of being the empress and she's just doing um her her sole mission which is to bring this um to anchor this energy in the in the in the on the earth and also um yeah just being um at one uh, with the nature as well in order to anchor this energy and just doing her soul mission by guiding guiding others as well that is really um has been those people that are brought into her um energy field and when we uh, see this in the masculine side as well has been tapping into his um uh, has balanced his mas 
masculine and feminine both um, energies and now at this moment so and also to add he has been saying that <laughs> there should only one impress there should there is only one divine feminine in his life and it's, that's her empress <laughs> so i'm getting with this is that uh, also here she's naked so she's you know she's very being authentic with herself and with others as well so that's how we should be doing um things in this life okay so we'll get messages from the um island time wellness <laughs> i will really draw because there are there are palm plants in there in the seaside so i think we'll get just just message here and see how many we can get and just tap into the energy whatever call we can get mm -hmm. oh. okay oh what's that how oh, with the key okay here first one here acts breakup separation stop the pattern silent treatment abandonment so what i'm getting with this and i think this applies to do some twin flame so i mean physical separation but yeah just physical separation because we're always one soul so i think um i think um what i'm getting with this is more of the um divine masculine um, wants to stop has been seeing his pattern of you know um treating the divine feminine silently uh, but the thing is because it came up because he he had to acknowledge his abandonment issue that's really started in a that happened really started in his some um, childhood and for the divine feminine um i think it's just that um i think she this word just came up she had enough up with the uh, you know the on and off like the cycle keep on repeating so she had come to us this still point not still still point of stop the chasing you know chasing um the chasing um role in this um dynamic okay i think this is more of a past um yeah it could be past energy oh what's there the chaser <laughs> i just say the chaser chaser in codependent relationship fear of uh, the abandonment issue so yeah it's really strong coming up abandonment issue i think this is the core healing that has been healed or you know really getting there that has been healing both the divine fa feminine and the divine masculine because yeah there were mostly it's a divine feminine that is on the chasing side because of this abandonment issue but i think um yeah like i said earlier most of the divine feminine collective that i have been tapping into at this time stop this um role and it's just changed the dynamic now it's like switching roles um, it's like it's like the divine masculine um it's really feeling this he's now starting to feel that you know he's the one who needs to reach out because the divine feminine is just being just being like just be you know and doing her things her soul mission especially her soul mission and just this feeling that the divine masculine wants to really go after the divine feminine before it's really too late you know oh here heart with a key so beautiful <laughs> i don't know if you could hear that but i think the this was a goose outside goose yeah it seemed to agree with this card heart with the key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect oh this is so beautiful i think after going through all this cycle of running and chasing and healing that core oh yeah there it goes again <laughs> because i live near the canal <laughs> so 
you know, there are ducks and ghosts and swans just really floating out there. Anyway, going back to this one, so with that, healing all of those abandonment, core abandonment, inner child wound healing of the abandonment issue is there is this like it makes the heart open open to love and open to receive love especially it, it's the divine masculine really that has been going this oh yeah i just remember yesterday i had this sudden heaviness of my chest so and had to release it really because i know that's not really my energy yeah so welcoming love so with with all this healing after all this healing there is now this um um time that the heart has heart chakra has been healed and is now open to um welcome love not just to give love but to welcome love as well understanding that this, this is unconditional love that it is safe to love to give and receive that unconditional love because this love is coming from the divine that's why it's called this divine sacred union because you have this love flowing through you from the divine from god and it just so happened that the other part of your soul is in another body but there's still one in soul so yeah so there is this heart chakra healing and expect a physical meet up uh, because i didn't really get in there i was watching this um church service last night elevation church and it because it really resonates to my journey as well and the the uh, topic last night was about um you are not meant to do this alone so yeah god will brought us in solitude moments because he has messages for us like we call it, like messages that he wants that us to receive specific messages and then there's time that from that moment that we need to get back together so there's time of getting back together and doing the mission together okay it's also about supporting each other and growing going through all these emotions of life together yeah and I think I'll just get oh look what's the bottom of the deck is it the card is uh, trying to you know to say hey hey don't forget still have one more <laughs> okay here it's a coffee cup meeting conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted friendship oh this is just so beautiful it's really connected because um yeah i was really um talking about friendship as well in my recent post in my instagram so want to check that one out it's aldina with an h underscore acb88 yeah so a uh, friendship and so it's talking about friendship as the basic foundation of every relationship so i think there will be a upcoming coffee cup meet up and for the both wings divine masculine divine feminine i feel it's just it will be like a light, very light-hearted energy and you know getting it's like getting to know each other like building friendship that yeah yeah my dm uh, used to tell me like you're my best friend <laughs> yeah anyway it's, uh, it's just just a lot of memories coming up as well <laughs> we just get from these dolphins and mermaids one card from this please because i've been really drawn to to the sea recently so let's see how message can come out what okay Ooh. <laughs> so, look how they just <laughs> you're just imagining the waves okay we'll get one because i said one oh 
look what came out. No, seed two. <laughs> That's what you call like sometimes, you know, the divine or God will give you more than what you have expected. And see how these cards are repeating. Friendship. Oh, so beautiful. Make a date for a play day for a play day with one or more friends. Yeah, I had done this <laughs> for the past week. Oh, this is so beautiful. Look at that. It's like they're having tea time there. <laughs> Let me see it. Yeah, so it's just confirming like you know, with this card as well, there could be um friendship friendship so i think both twins are now appreciating those moments like you know when they're like having fun together reminiscing those moments like you know they enjoy their company as friends like friendship has been the most important part of this twin flame journey yes there's the romantic part but i'm getting with this very light-hearted um friendship energy for both the twins and they're now appreciating that it's how it's really the basic foundation should be the basic foundation of any relationship and they found each other's um, friendship as a divine gift yeah there's like look at this boy at the back it's like oh it's like me bringing something like a surprise or something yeah Hmm. You did get together. Oh, speaking of getting together, here. Yeah. Getting together, friendship. So, meditate on those words as well. What it means to you, especially when it comes on, you know, you keep on saying it. Because, and then, have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Oh, that was me. <laughs> playing in the waves. can see myself in there. Uh, just playing in the waves. So have faith. And also faith. That word has been coming up into my mind as well. And yeah. Prayers, meditation. Are really now coming into your reality. So have faith i think the message that we get here like have faith that um you're getting you're getting this vision you're getting this vision of you know this reconciliation like rebuilding this friendship again with the divine both twins are having this you know realization and you just take it from there because you know you're always one like, oh look at that one I had shuffled it already and I don't think I need to shuffle it again because it's just really really <laughs> like resonate with this one fake see here I think there's just really like throat chakra healing as well with this blue yeah having faith that you know you can really express be vulnerable and express what you really want to express straight forward i have been having this like a bit of <coughs> throat uh, i don't not really itchiness but you know that kind of feeling is really really something going on with the throat chakra as well so there's really healing going on so faith i am confident i will achieve my goals goals I live in the present and have faith in the future. I firmly believe in my value within the universe. Beautiful is that? Another confirmation to have faith. You're, excuse me. Yeah, there could be still a bit of fear that needs to be released. But every time fear comes up, just, you know, um, meditate on it. Why is it coming up? And transmute it so there you have faith that you're on the right path yeah i've been seeing still seeing that 717 and have faith and where else that it came from just a lot of 
you know see cups coffee cup so yeah reconnect there's reconnection meeting up could be having coffee you know and just to rebuild that friendship so also having faith in the divine having faith in yourself that you are following that you are following the divine guidance that you are getting and having faith um to your twin as well that you know both of the twins are really um doing their own healing and having faith with each other that once you come back together there should be like trust as well to each other that you both of you are now willing to work out this um this um relationship and bring this in to a higher um you know into higher level because both things now are now tapping into more into their intuition and divine guidances and uh, they have this um conscious union with god and that brings the uh, sacred union of the twin flames as well in the on the earthly plane and that will you know help help anchor this unconditional love energy in our planet that's really needed in our planet at the present <sighs> that, oh just uh, there's a pigeon or a seagull in there just suddenly went near my window yes i'm still like seaside vibe sometimes in here because there's still a lot of seagulls coming near here okay the calm okay we'll get this one because i have this little book the calm where is it yeah okay. <laughs> It's just these things that caught my attention. Here, the, a gift of calm. And then, peace, peace amongst the pressure. And here, the last, the bottom of the deck, the card says the calm. I breathe, live, and grow the light within me. I do one thing at a time and focus on the present moment. I cast off my doubts. All fear dissipates and I find peace in my being. <laughs> So I think it's just, you know, have faith and keep calm and enjoy every moment. That's it. Thank you so much for your precious time. I hope you'll be having a loving, loving, lovely, yeah, loving and lovely week. And sending you so much love, light, peace, and blessings. I'll see you later. Thank you. <laughs>